Keith Dalla, congratulations. Seesaw game in front, behind, could have lost, won it in the end, just try and sum up for us. Well, I, I mean, I was speaking to Michael earlier and I thought the only thing in my favour is he's not played on TV. And, I, and when I went for the bullseye, I didn't want to win the ball. So I thought if I can jump on him, which I did, and I played really well the first set, the second set was going really well. And then all of a sudden, I thought, I'm winning three nil here, and all, I just lost my rhythm. And I thought, why? I don't understand. I mean, I'm doing exhibitions, I'm playing brilliant, and all of a sudden, I thought, the guy's gone, and, I've, and I'm letting him in all the time. And uh, I must admit, when it went to the last set, I'm thinking, well, it's all right, it's going, on, it's going with the throw. If I can just keep with him, but I just weren't hurting him at all, and uh, he's, a, he's a great guy. And, and I'll be honest with you, I. I Honestly, I feel I've been playing well and I'm, I'm more relaxed than I was last year and I got uptight again. So I just think it get, I think because everybody like Paul Nicholson and Matthew Egger all said I've got no chance, you know, and that sort of got on my mind a little bit, which it shouldn't have done. But now uh, I've won the game and playing game, I don't play on TV a lot, but that game was massive for me. I know Neil and Lisa play brilliant, but I, can't, I won't play like that tomorrow. So I don't care. I mean... If I just relax and play well, I can really play well. So it was a good result at the end of the day, but the first half was brilliant. The second half was not good, but hey, I'm over the line. Being written off like you have been, did you feel a little bit disrespected? Not really. I mean, look, my average, if I'd have gone up there with a 91 today, then I'd have said I was disrespected, but it was just that uh, I kept looking at the averages, the, the average on the screen. I thought, well, I'm nearly 90 here after a set and a half. I'm playing well here. But... It was, I lost my rhythm a bit. That was the only thing. If I just keep that rhythm, I know I've got bowl. If you give, if I got, a, I mean, the 114 I thought was massive. If I'm not a bottler, I'm not a bottler, but the trouble is I get a bit too eager, and that's the problem I've got to get rid of. But getting through the first game, I'll be all right. I mean, I'm, I feel comfortable and I feel relaxed. So tomorrow, I'll play better. I will play better. Plenty of fans in here for you as well and the atmosphere was good Mike had plenty did you revel in that atmosphere to and fro in yeah I do love it I mean that's what it's about I mean it's you I mean I'm look 40 years since I won the world I still get nervous I still get the buzz and that's what it's like I mean look the people that come here we're not Michael Van Gogh and like, I watched the Premier League last night how good was he last night absolutely awesome but we've done our bit in our in our career I'm looking forward to see how Phil plays tonight I think uh I think the par will, will turn up, and uh, but disappointed the second half because I knew I had him. But that's just where you're not playing on TV enough. But that's done me a massive favour for tomorrow. Okay, it's a pleasure as always, mate. Thank you very much. Cheers, Phil. Thank you.